consistent or inconsistent system to determine whether a system is consistent or inconsistent it's better to it's better to use the definition of rank i think we summarize the some, some facts here first the definition of rank of a matrix the rank of a matrix actually is defined by the number of long zero rows the number of long zero rows uh, in row actual form of a matrix or equals the number of private number in row actual form of A or the number of leading uh, leading numbers or leading ones by using the definition of rank uh, we have some uh, result for uh, the system is consistent or inconsistent first the first theory is about the inhomogeneous system AX equals B. The first result that is if rank A does not equal rank AB, that is the rank of coefficient matrix. Uh, does not equal the rank of ma uh, argument matrix, then the system is inconsistent. That means the system has no solution. That's the first uh, first result. The second result is that is if the coefficient the rank of coefficient matrix equals the rank of matrix uh, augment matrix equals the number of variables then the system is consistent and has unique solution that is each one uh, each variable is determined by one number the third result is if the coefficient the rank of coefficient matrix equals the rank of augment matrix but it's less than the number of variables then the uh, solution is infinitely that it means the system has infinitely solutions that's for the inhomogeneous system and for homogeneous system ax equals zero we have two results the first one is the rank of coefficient matrix equals the number of variables then the system has only zero solutions that is or has only trivial solutions There's only one solution, is trivial solution.
And the second result is the rank of the coefficient matrix is less than the number of variables. This system has infinitely number of solutions because in this case the system has free variables because the free variables can take any numbers so the solution the solution is infinitely and the last theorem is about the relation of solutions for the uh, inhomogeneous system and the uh, homogeneous system. It states that if C is the general solution of AX equals zero. And eta is one solution, any one solution of Ax equals b. Any one solution. Then the general solution or then the, gen the general solution of Ax equals b is c plus eta. That's the consistent, the result of consistent and the inconsistent, and the uh, solution related related to ax equals b and ax equals zero. Let's take take a look at some examples. The first example that we look about. Now about the system AX equals B where A is one 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 two negative five two three negative four B is one two five So the argument the argument matrix is A B that is one 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 two negative five two two three negative four five. We use rule reduction. One 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 one. We uh, the second row. Uh, subtract the first row and uh, the first row uh, times negative 2 and then add to the third row as 0 as 1 as negative 6 as 1 as 0 as 1 as negative negative 6 that's 3 3 and the third row Subtract the first row or uh, the second row, and the third row becomes zero, 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 two. So the rank of A is two. The dotted, uh, the left part of the dotted lines, and the rank of A, B is 3. So 
the rank A does not equal rank A B. So it has no solution. Actually, for, from the uh, the actual form of this of, uh, of the augment matrix, we know that uh, the the last row corresponds to the to the equation that zero equals two. Zero cannot be equals two, so there's no solution. Let's look about another example. If there is AX, this equation is AX equals B, where A is 1, negative 1, 2, that's 1, 1, that's a constant A, that's negative 3, 6, negative 7. And B equals 1, 1, and our, con uh, our constant B. The problem is what is A and B? Uh, what are A and B such that the First is the system system has no solution. The second problem is when when is the system is uh, has unique solution. And the third part is the system has infinitely solution. Infinitely solution. Okay, let's use the rule reduction for the augment matrix. A, B equals. 1, negative 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, A, 1, negative 3, 6, negative, negative 7, B. I use row reduction from, uh, from column to column. The second row subtract the first row as 2, that's a minus two. That's zero. Uh, the first row uh, mo uh, multiplied by three, and then add to the third row. That's zero. That's three. That's negative one. That's b plus three. Then the second row divided by two, or multiplied by uh, one half. That's zero. That's one. That's a over t over two minus one. That's zero. Zero three negative one. B plus three. And then the second row multiplied by negative three. Then add to the third row. That's one negative one. That's two one. 0, 1, a over 2 minus 1, that's 0. It's 0, it becomes 0 multiplied by negative 3. So, so that is 3 minus 3a over 2, and minus 1. That's 2 minus 3a over 2, that's b plus 3. Because the rank is about the row actual form, we uh, we don't need to uh, reduce the uh, augment matrix to be the re reduced row actual form.
is not necessarily. Now, the first one has pivotal number. The first row has pivotal number. The second row has pivotal number. So the rank at least two. But from the uh, theorem, from the same row one, when a, a, the, the system has uh, has no solution, that means uh, rank A don't, does not equal rank AB. The only uh, the only case that is two minus two minus three a over two equals zero, but b plus three is non-zero. So the rank of a is two, and uh, the rank of a b that is three. This case corresponds to a equals four over three, and b does not equal negative three. This part is zero, but this part b plus three is not zero. So the coefficient, the rank of coefficient is two, and the rank of argument matrix is three. If rank a equals rank a and b equals three, that's the uh, there's no solution. Oh, here is no solution. The first one is no solution. The second is unique solution. That means b plus 3 non zero and uh, 2 minus 3a over 2 uh, is non zero. Both, these two, both of these two numbers are non zero. That means 2 minus 3a over 2, non zero, b plus 3, non zero. This case corresponds to a not equal to 4 over 3, and b not equal to negative 3. Sorry. Negative 3. Negative 3. And for infinitely, for infinite solutions less than three, less than three, but the, uh, the rank at least two. So the the last row uh, will be zero. That means 2 minus 3a over 2 equals 0, and b plus 3 is 0. That corresponds to uh, a equals 4 over 3, b equals negative 3. That's how we determine if a linear system is consistent or not. Let's stop here.